Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. In today's video what we're going to cover is this and this is a hold all or a wash roll but um, we're going to refer to it as a hold all for a soldier in the First World War era time period from about 1900 to 1920. Um, so this is uh, First World War era. As I said this, uh, this is an individual soldiers. Things may vary depending on the soldier what they would have carried but this is a, a general overview of what they, what from books and from a bit of research uh, what I can find that they would have carried in their in their hold all. So here we have brown leather boots or lace bo laces for boots and um, they're square type the um, boots that were issued at the time were called B2s or B5s and they were a brown leather so the laces were brown leather as well um, here you have uh, button sticks now towards the later period time period of the war the button sticks would not be carried but initially at the start of the war they carried their button their button sticks um, for cleaning their brass buttons cleaning their their uh, equipment but as the war progressed they were told to let their brasses blacken for um, obviously camouflage and concealment now I'm not sure about this date being original 1914 but um quite possibly is the hold all itself I believe is original but I'm not sure about that stamp um, sorry, so we're getting back to the button sticks. We have two different types. We have here what we a Bakelite type, which would have been uh, later in the war when uh, brass started to get harder to come across when the, when it was more used needed for ammunition and things. We have a knife, fork, and a spoon, self-explanatory, for eating back behind the lines, um, or for eating on the lines. But basically, they have a, a knife, fork, and spoon there to eat as well. We have a cutthroat razor obviously to shave, personal hygiene, um, personal hygiene believe it or not they were encouraged to shave every day and wash every day to uh, try and keep the mice and lice and, and stuff off them. We have a wobbler or a shaving brush, self-explanatory, comes with the uh, the cutthroat razor and here then we have a little holder for shaving soap. Um, this is a modern shaving soap but the holder um, is of that time period uh, so I just put that in there. So in here then we have a timber comb. As I said personal hygiene is very important to try and keep the lice and stuff away. We have a bar of carbolic soap or life boy soap. Um, this one is falcon actually but it's been around for donkey's ears. Um, Obviously, they would use this even to wash their clothes. It's a, it's a, a, a bacterial type soap, a non, or a non bacterial type soap. So that's what that is. I just have a little paper bag here because um, it can stain stuff. So that's why it's in the bag. And then here, in less politically correct times, we have known what's a housewife called a housewife, and it's a sewing kit uh, for re repairing their uniforms. There's buttons and needles, and then thread here at the bottom. Um, for having running running repairs on their uniform, so here you have it. That's the the contents. There you can have a, a quick look at it again. So, if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification button, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. Thank you very much.